boys and girls, and welcome to the Kiwanis Reading Corner. My name is Mr. Barry, and today I will be reading In the Woods, Who's Been Here, written by Lindsay Barrett George. I hope you enjoy my book. It is cool and sunny on this autumn afternoon. The smell of sweet fern is everywhere. William, do you want to go for a walk? asked Cammy. Sure, says William. Let's go. There's William, and there's Cammy, their brother and sister. And who's following them? You know who that is. That's their doggy. The children follow a well-worn path into the woods. They walk under an old cherry tree. They see an empty nest. Who's been here? See the nest up in the tree? Do you know who lives in a nest? A northern oriole. Isn't that a pretty bird? See the colors in that oriole? He's orange and he's black. And how many babies are in the nest? Can you count those? One, two, three babies are in the nest. Cammie and William come to a big rock. A tree has split it apart, and a flat stone juts out of the tree. Who's been here? See that stone? Look at that, right at the bottom of the big, huge tree. Oh, a red squirrel. You knew that, didn't you? See the squirrel with the big, fluffy tail? And who's over here on the right? Another bird. They live in the trees, too. And see what the squirrel's eating? I think he's eating his nuts. The trail follows an old stone wall. The children and their dog, Sam, climb over it. A clump of milkweed plants grows in the field on the other side. Something hangs from a milkweed leaf. Who's been here? Who do you think? There they are in the field looking all around. A monarch butterfly. You knew that was a butterfly, didn't you? And look at that. The colors are the same as the Oriole bird we saw. Orange and black. Look at that. What a beautiful. And then who's down here on this leaf? It's a caterpillar. So I think you know butterflies come from caterpillars. So that caterpillar will be a butterfly someday. Cammy and William climb over a smooth gray tree that has fallen across the trail. The bark has been gnawed off the branches close to the ground. Who's been here? See where William's holding the tree? The bark's all gone. Somebody chewed it off. Oh, you know what that is? A snowshoe hare, which of course is another type of bunny rabbit. And what color is that bunny? Look at that. He's almost all white. He's pretty. Gray rock breaks up the leaf-covered hillside. Something black catches the children's eyes. It is a small, dark cave. Sam runs ahead and barks at the opening. William stops and grabs his sister's hand. There are bleached bones on the ledge outside the cave. Who's been here? See the bone lying on the ledge? What do you think? Oh, it's a family of red foxes and a woodchuck. And I think the fox and the woodchuck are having a fight. But there's the little baby foxes watching out. William and Cammie stop beside a large gray boulder. Something strange is stuck to the rock. Who's been here? See that gray thing down in there? What could that possibly be? It's called a mud dauber. It's sort of like a wasp. See it? And they make their nest out of mud. And that's what's stuck to the rock. An orange wood lily stands in a sunny clearing. The flower is almost as tall as Cammie. There is another stalk next to it. But the flower is gone. Who's been here? So see the flower behind Cammie? It still has its blossom. But the other one, I think somebody ate it. Oh, a deer. But you knew that, didn't you? See the deer eating the flowers? Boy, deers will eat almost anything if they get hungry enough. 
but there they are. They're big and beautiful. Tammy and William follow the path on their way home. The rich smell of sweet fern fills the air again. They find a basket on a blanket under an old apple tree. I wonder who's been here, William asked. But Cammy knows. Who do you think Cammy sees hiding right there behind the tree? Anybody want to guess? Because there's the blanket and the basket. Who do you think that is? It's their daddy. And he says, I've been following you all along. I didn't want you getting lost in the woods. And it looks like you had a great day. And now we're going to have a family picnic. So that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed In the Woods, Who's Been Here by Lindsay Barrett George. I hope to see you again soon in the Kiwanis Reading Corner. Have a great day.